Fun song. Enjoy, guys. People in the chat are yelling gameplay. That's yes. what we're yeah. doing. In previous uh, demos, uh, we've shown some of the outposts. One of them was uh, Udam. So we have two different tribes in the game world. Uh, the Udam tribe uh, is, uh, is uh, more primitive. They live up in the north. So we've shown this outpost. This time around, we show a different tribe and a different uh, type of architecture and setting. Uh, it's going to be the Izila tribe outpost. Yeah. And just checking if the players can hear us. They should be. So much French and in again, there. Correct. We're showing a pre-release beta version, obviously, because the game is not out. So you know, if you see anything weird, that could come from that. But the game is pretty, uh, pretty stable already. So here we see the beautiful. Um, Don't jinx it. Absolutely. The, the landscape and the scenery of oh. Oros. So we're more in the uh, um, east uh, in this uh, in this part of the game. There's a lot of different biomes. Uh, previously, we've shown the giant uh, cedar trees. Uh, and what we really wanted to show was uh, recreate uh, a time when nature was really majestic, much bigger than men. So we want mm. the, the nature to feel very big. Yeah. And we just saw uh, Julien you know, starting a fire as well. <laughs> really cool, but obviously. Because of the time, uh, <laughs> fire is a very <laughs> important aspect of uh, survival at the time. Yeah. And we just saw the weapon wheel. Uh, I believe he's encountering some enemies. Let's see. Let's see. Um, he's look like Izila. And Mizila Patrol. Ooh. Ooh. Nice headshots. Yes, this game, I mean, you guys have seen a bit about Primal, and you know that it takes place in the Stone Age. So we have Stone Age weaponry, but we've got a lot of Stone Age weaponry. And if you check the weapon wheel next to him, he opens it. There's actually a bunch of different things that you can grab. There's not just one bow and arrow. There's a couple different. There's different types of weapons, uh, so you have uh, bows, many weapons, uh, spears, but you also, for each one, you have little dots, so you can swap them, uh, and so you can swap your arsenal, and they all have different properties, so some bows are better uh, long range, some are more rapid fire, so you, you have uh, a lot of diversity in there. And at the bottom, you have all those throwables, so you, Takar, is able to craft different types of, uh, of tools, bombs, these kind of things. Yeah. Uh, using bees, he's able to, uh, using a bee clusters, he's able to uh, throw them at, the, at his enemies in order to uh, distract them. Yeah, and I see that some users in the chat were asking if this is live or pre recorded. No, no, it's live. Footage. So what you That's saying? why I'm not playing. Back in the, back in, oh, <laughs> back in the far, you were seeing. Uh, so this is night. Night is super dangerous. That's when the predators comes out. So here, Julien is very scared. <laughs> <laughs> so he whips out his uh, his weapon, sets it on fire. So nice. all the weapons you have, you can set on fire. You can then use them to uh, ignite the world and also animals. And uh, with the fire, it creates uh, something that scares animals, so you can repel them at night, so it makes your traversal... Uh, and really obviously, you can also set them on fire, Yeah, which, which I think is a, a pretty valid tactic. Yeah. And we didn't see it, so but just before, fire you could and see, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and just before you could see the, the, like a village from afar uh, behind you, I think, Julien. Uh, with like the lake and... Uh, yeah, so Far Cry Primal does go through day-night cycles. Yes. yes. And the, the, what's interesting is the setup for... Uh, for the location changes, so uh, depending uh, if you go by day or by night, the guards uh, are doing different kind of things. By night, they light the fire, they're more around the fire, playing music, so uh, it's a different opportunity. And, and here, uh, we're at, actually, this is a, a quarry. Uh, so the Izila, they're a little bit more advanced, they're already constructing things. They have this megalithic structure all around the world that delimitate their, uh, their territory, but they also use it for, uh, for rituals. So here is one of the locations where they would uh, start crafting these things. What's interesting for us is to show how the people were living at the time and how the different tribes are also living. Is that cave bear eating someone? <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> oh, what did you just That doesn't throw? seem like a good plan. So part of the arsenal, so we showed the weapon, part of the arsenal of Tarkar as the Beastmaster is also his ability to tame uh, wild animals in the world. So this is something you unlock as you progress in the game. But here, uh, Julien is just taming uh, this bear. It's not a cave bear, it's a small bear. The oh. cave bear is like twice this size. Yeah. Can so thank you for nice correcting me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's important for me because I'm more about yes. accuracy, you know. <laughs> pet the bears, pet the bears. And yes. you're riding it now as well. And so, oh, so this is oh, a cave whoa. bear. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair and enough, that's completely enough. unexpected, right? Fire! <laughs> and actually, you saw the enemies are also using fire uh, against the, the cave bear. So, yes. I, but I, it doesn't care, I think. Man, cave bear does not. <laughs> Okay. Run away! Yeah, yeah, so he's riding his bear. Yes, you can ride your bear. There's a few, uh, few other animals that you can <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, it ate your bear! 
have it dead at you. Oh my god. Okay. So bears are a little bit less scared by fire, yeah, as we can see here. <laughs> see, I just think so they swim. Yeah. So when you try to, uh, for some of the predator, you can also go in the water in order to escape them. But bears, they swim. So. Okay. <laughs> the chat's asking, where's the pokeball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! Thank good god. job! Good job! And so you can after actually setting revive. Setting the world on fire. <laughs> you can heal your beast even if it's down, right? Yeah. Yes. You just did that. Awesome. Right. Yes, food is used in order to heal yourself, your beast. Mm -hmm. It's part of the uh, economy of the game, so yeah. you need to hunt also to gather food. Yeah. And there was a little bit of a like a timer. Uh, you had uh, like a limited time. Yes. To, when uh, your beast is down, you have a limited time in order to uh, revive it, and uh, otherwise you can actually uh, resurrect it. But you need uh, some specific plants that you find in the world. Okay. Ah, so this is going to plants. be uh, from the yes, the famous version. Beautiful. No, but this is going to be from the menu. Okay. And I think on the mini map we can see you nearing the the outpost that we yes. wanted to show. Have a blade up. Your beast is following Whoa, you. Still on fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So the animals in Beastmaster they kind of react. I mean, you you can control them and kind of give them directions, but they also maintain their regular AI. Yeah, so if something's oh. going to happen. Oh, nice. And you it's just called to be, another oh. beast. To be systemic, they remain uh, systemic beasts, uh, but you can actually point them towards something. So if it's a, if it's a place, they're going to go there. If it's an enemy, they're going to attack it. I see Julien is doing uh, the subtle role. <laughs> <laughs> I like his play style because very he's, quiet, uh, he's yeah. very, uh, very uh, subtle, discreet. Oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> Saber tooth take down. Oh. No. Nice. That was just a villager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it? It was in my way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, it's, it's still uh, we're changing a lot of the aspects of the uh, of Far Cry with this game, but uh, we also want it to remain Far Cry. So you will have your uh, your freedom of approach. Here, Julien is going uh, weapons blazing in, uh, but uh, there, there's going to be uh, a lot of different approaches. You can go in stealth. So you have a lot of different toys that you can use as you uh, assault this place. And of course, when you assault them, the alarms are rung, so the so patrols are going to come, uh, come in and. Uh, so and those are chieftains. Yeah. yeah, the chieftains are tougher and also they are... <laughs> and these are the bee bombs that are actually distracting Not so them. tough against bees. Yeah. The clusters. And everything is on fire. This so is beautiful. the chieftains are better at fighting your beasts. So, uh, even if you have a, a set of weapons, there's a vulnerabilities also, so you need to manage the different types of units. And he has a kind of uh, area of effect, we see it, like when he hits uh, the ground with his club. Yes. Oh, nice. So you as you, yeah, as you can tell, every weapon you can light on fire and you can throw every weapon. Which I think is wow, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty impressive. Yeah. yeah, you're killing it. So subtle. Yeah. <laughs> so subtle. Uh, so oh, oh you're Now he means business. He's got the double bow. Oh. Double bow. And uh, yeah, fire is an important part. We wanted the world to feel like it was very vulnerable. So <laughs> well, it obviously uh, okay. is. <laughs> <laughs> this was the, uh, this is the bomb that makes it, the enemies yeah. crazy, so they will uh, turn and fight uh, any, any people around them. Uh, this is something we developed uh, later on in the game. Uh, it's what we steal from the Udam. Oh, nice shot. I love that saber tooth out of nowhere. Yep. Saber tooth out of nowhere. Take down. <laughs> And as you can see, like we're showing Julien playing it right now. This is For those who are wondering if it's real live gameplay. Hey, someone in the chat asked if you can ride a bear. That's how we started. Yeah, that's how we started. Riding a bear. And then uh, it was Sega attacked. Two also and Mama. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh. Hey, these chieftains mean business. Yeah. yeah. And now they're fighting oh, each the, other yeah, because he uh, used the, the, the yeah, poison bomb. Friend. Yeah. So this is another way of creating chaos and just watching <laughs> it burn. Okay, is this your last guy? No, oh there's God. another one. I think there's another one in the back, yeah. Ooh! Those chief thin area of effect uh, fire swings are pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Why won't you die? <laughs> pretty strong opponent. Yeah. We have a lot of uh, diverse units, uh, oh. ranged, melee, etc. So as you progress also, you will encounter a harder version of them, elite version of them. And, uh, it's uh, uh. when you tag them uh, and you have the uh, icon yeah, over their head, you have the information oh. also about uh, the Good type one. of units. Yeah. And that's... There are two that's enemies left. Cool. <laughs> oh. I believe in you. Yeah, you yes, can do you it. Can like, do I believe that it. you can... You can massacre <laughs> <laughs> Oh, in the foot. 
So obviously, kind of the uh, full-on assault is a fun way to go, but you're going to encounter a lot of resistance. Yeah. And the last enemy hit somewhere. Left. Yeah. Maybe they're kind of smartly hiding. Go. Yeah. He must be hiding in the in the house. Maybe. <laughs> get him, buddy. Get and him. And nice uh, transition to the um, to the day cycle as well. There you go, hiding in the bush. Yay! Oh, good no. job. <laughs> and that's yeah. how you deal with an outpost. That was absolutely <laughs> brutal. Pretty awesome. Good job, Julian. Thanks. Yeah. An open world mission. Yeah, this is one. This is called the uh, Spirit Totem, and the idea is uh, a part you haven't seen here. You've you've met someone who's told you uh, that uh, one of your fellow Wenja was going out in the world to place a totem, and he hasn't returned. So something's happened to him. So so your mission is now go uh, go find this guy, grab his totem, the totem, and you know and place the totem. Uh, spirit totems are are important to, to the Wenja. They're a tribe that is. Um, uh, uh, animistic. Uh, they believe in uh, uh, all things have a spirit. So not just uh, uh, people, but they believe plants, even uh, inanimate objects like um, uh, rocks and the tree. Oh, wow. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. The rocks uh, have a spirit. So uh, placing a, uh, um, a totem is a way to, uh, uh, they want to place it so that they, they believe that the, then they have a spirit kind of watching over them. Okay, like so a, that's like a protection almost. Exactly, exactly. So that's why it's important for them to uh, place these totems. And you'll do that throughout the world. And this is just one mission that mm -hmm. uh, shows you about that. And uh, where are we? Where are we I'm trying in to this remember fantastic which, land of Oros? It's beautiful. Oros. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. Oh, Ooh, okay. Already some, is uh, this the guy? No, okay. So this isn't the guy who... No. 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 <laughs> You this isn't the body you're looking <laughs> this for. This isn't the body you're <laughs> looking for. <laughs> but I think you've got to be careful because I believe there's uh, Udam. Uh, yeah, there they are. There's Udam around here. Yeah. In this Ooh, area. Yeah. So we're going to have to watch it. Man, good, good shot, JJ. Man. Wow, Julian oh, landing good it's jump, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and I think there's I would have definitely fallen on that one. Yep. And that is why we brought in JJ. the ringer. Yeah. <laughs> JJ. Yep. JJ Elite. JJ Elite. <laughs> JJ Elite. He's gone from noob to elite. I like that. That's nice. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so we are getting a ton of questions in mm. the chat, yeah. which we're going to kind of hold on to for a bit later. Yep. We but just know that we see you. That was uh, yeah. Hunter Vision you were using there, which is great. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, the Hunter Vision, I think we've talked about it a bit before, but it was Shoot important. Shoot a deer. <laughs> Shoot a deer. <laughs> yeah, Shoot yeah. a deer while you're looking for a, a spirit totem. <laughs> The, uh, the Hunter Vision's uh, important, uh, uh, an important feature. This is the Stone Age, and uh, survival was paramount. So, so their sense of uh, awareness of nature around them was, was key to survival, and, and it was highly tuned. So for us, we wanted to make sure we had this, this feature in the game that reflects that. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, it just highlights all the things you need to see. You can track animals with that as well. You can track people if you wound somebody. Oh. I yeah. find that in the game, I guess because, oh my god, you're nice. just destroying these people. Yeah. <laughs> because we're dealing with kind of Stone Age men who is making all of their equipment from what was around them, I find it so oh hard no. to spot these guys. Because they're so well kind of camouflaged. Yeah, I know what you mean, right? They, aren't, they, they, they don't have a bright uh, uh, red or uh, uh, like they're not really flashy in the, in the colors or you don't see a vehicle with headlights coming yeah. up at you. Yeah. You set him, set him on fire. Well done. That's one way to see him. <laughs> so yeah, several approaches to this mission. Yeah, someone in the chat noticed that animals don't always die straight on. Yeah. And they don't. I mean, unless you kind of really land a critical headshot, um, they don't die. And so you can use your hunter vision to kind of chase after them. Yeah, exactly. That's where the blood becomes important. And the, ah, there Aww. we go. Okay, so we found Sorry, the totem. Bud. Found Poor guy. Yeah, he probably fell from oh. there or something like that. Nice. This is a kind of cool kind of cave painting. Yeah, I noticed that. Huh? It, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a. If you see that, right there. So what's cool? You see that? Uh, it's an indication. If you look up, oh. there's a grappling. Oh. Hook. <laughs> so it's okay. literally to kind of tell gives you, you that. Gives you gives you a little clue that hence. you've got something up above that can help you climb. Okay. 
Someone did ask, is there a grappling hook? Yes. But there you go. Grappling claw. Oh, oh see, there's another claw. one. And if we yeah. look up, bingo. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even go. notice. Good eye, Kevin. Good yeah, eye. There you go. Yeah. You still got some Udam, I think, uh, yeah. Yeah. roaming yeah. around after you. We actually have a winner from the last uh, the giveaway. giveaway. Yeah. So it's Ma Pilgrim. Nice. That one's easy pilgrim. to understand. Pilgrim. Uh, to, uh, to yeah, Ma Pilgrim. Congratulations to you. Yay, congratulations. The Twitch moderators will you know, get in touch and ask you where you need the t-shirt and the hoodie to be delivered. <laughs> where is that? Looks like some bad stuff is going down uh -oh. over here. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is this? So this is what I love about this game. It's like, you know, there's there's so many more animals. Uh, so, it, you, like, you get your threats from everywhere. You get them mm. from the animals. You get them from the uh, from the uh, enemy tribes. It, it it really hits on that primal sense of mm. anything Danger and everywhere. everything can kill me yeah. at any time. Or can Great de job. deke past you. <laughs> <laughs> and we've placed and the There we go. What and a beautiful like totem. It is You've nice. done well, JJ. Thanks. Ooh, good job. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Job. One last jump. Congrats. That looked a lot shallower, a lot more shallow <laughs> than it actually was. I thought, oh, yeah, no, that's right. not a good move, pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, congrats. We kind of wander around. Give us a, a nice view of this. Scenery? Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Matthias loves his scenery. I do. So look, look to the, look to the, right up there. So you can see one thing that's cool. This is the Stone Age, and it's it's uh, um, after uh, the Ice Age. I was gonna it's say well it's after a the Ice Age, but still, yeah, exactly. The glaciers uh, uh, in the game are are massive, like we like we mm. certainly never see on Earth now, and that's just a reflection of uh, the Ice Age that uh, receded really cool. out of uh, Oros. Really. Yeah, there's some beautiful vistas that show yeah. off just that sort of stuff. Yeah. Nice. The trees too. Untouched by man. Untouched by man. You get that feeling when you're going through here because the trees are so massive. Mm. Like even from here, looking at that one way over, oh, yeah. you know, we're far it's from huge. it, but you can see how big it is. Yeah. I think that's one of the things that kind of you have a hard time understanding unless you're playing the game is how much bigger everything is. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah everything from the, the plant life, the trees to the animals as well. Mm hmm. Very cool. Yeah, like even the wolves, large. you get a good sense that wow, these are these are big wolves. <laughs> I feel bad. There's like there's a lot of good questions in the chat, yeah. but it's a lot of stuff that I'm like, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to spoil this for you. But it's a good transition. Should we move to the uh, the the next the next question segment? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's get some uh, let's get some questions. Some questions going. from the chat. Absolutely. Um. So. We've seen it a lot in the chat, and we saw it in the when we asked people to ask us questions on social. Um, will there be a story, and can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, for sure. Yep. There is a story in the game, uh, absolutely. Uh, you play as uh, Takar, and Takar is a um, uh, he's a hunter. He's the last surviving hunter uh, of his party, and they have been leaving a, a barren uh, land and heading towards Oros. And y the game takes place in the land of Oros. And uh, he's going there to meet more Wenja. He's part of the Wenja tribe, and he wants to meet more Wenja uh, uh, to reunite with his people. When he arrives in Oros, he finds that the, the Wenja have all been scattered uh, across oh. the Oh! You were saying? No, I'm distracted. Oh, <laughs> JJ. <laughs> Oh, well JJ. done. Well done. If you'd used your hunter vision, you would have seen him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, so you arrive in uh, the land of Oros, and you find that the Wenja uh, have been scattered. They're not really a united tribe. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, they've been uh, um, attacked by rival tribes who are mm -hmm. fighting for resources. So your job is to, you know, uh, try to uh, uh, reunite those people, f fight off the many predators that you're going to come across, yes, we have seen. Uh, as we've seen, and the Udam and other tribes, and uh, ultimately become the apex predator uh, in, okay. the, uh, in the world of Oros. Awesome. That kind of is a, a little high level uh, of the story. Yep. And, uh, Man, these guys are just going for a walk. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure they are. Yeah, they don't hey. even see you. Oh, oh. oh. Wait, you were saying? Oh, dang, cold. that's cold. She wasn't a warrior. No. <laughs> she was startled by an animal. 
Dang it, JJ. Okay. All right. Should we take it uh, to the questions that we listed from the fans? Yes. So, okay. yeah, uh, we just went over a bit of the story questions. Yes. Um, so, obviously, people who saw the trailer, yeah. people who are listening to the game right now, mm -mm. that's not English. It's mm, not English. No, it's not. No, definitely not. So that was a uh, that was a <laughs> something we thought about um, when we were starting the game. We were looking, okay, 10,000 BC, Stone Age, the, Mes uh, the Mesolithic period. There was no English. There was no there was no uh, l any modern language. Any mm. of the modern languages that we have, they they, ju they just weren't around. So and we thought, well, do you know, do we want to use that anyway? And we really felt like we want to make this game immersive. It's it's immersive in terms of the art, in terms of the world, the animals you see. It should that should be reflected in the language. So we decided, okay, we're going to go and we're going to uh, create a new language. And we didn't just arbitrarily make it up. What we did was we looked at, uh, well, what do we know of the languages that were on there? There's no written history, but they do know that they spoke a version of what's called Proto-Indo-European. Mm -hmm. um, Fancy. Proto-Indo-European. Nice <laughs> and they, they call it Pi for short. There you Fantastic. Go. Okay. Fantastic. So, uh, so we decided, okay, well, let's base our languages off of that. Uh, I am certainly no Pi expert, so we, <laughs> we went to the, uh, we, we brought some uh, linguists with us, mm -hmm. and they helped us uh, uh, figure this out. So it's Andrew Bird and Brenna Bird. They're, they're uh, linguists whose specialty is uh, Proto-Indo-European. Mm -hmm. And uh, JJ, and I think you need to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's distracted now. And uh, uh, so what we did was we brought them on and they helped us uh, craft oh. the language. And not only just, we didn't do just one language, so the Wind just speak a, a language. Uh, the Udam also speak their own language, uh, which they just call uh, Udam. Mm. And uh, it's a version of Winja. Okay. And then we have another like tribe. Accent. What's that? Like an accent of Winja. Accent is a little more simple, a little more because <laughs> they're a more simple tribe. They're a more okay. monosyllabic sort of tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we had a have a third uh, tribe that uh, JC was mentioning called the Izila, mm -hmm. and they're a little more advanced, and they also speak yet another language in the game. Uh, so you're going to hear those throughout. You've been hearing them here yeah. uh, in the in the game. Uh, oh, look at that, see? Oh, this scenery. See, look at it. Oh, this vista. Beautiful. The glaciers are fantastic, I love it. Yeah. And people have asked, can you kind of turn off the mini-map uh, mini in the HUD? And like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. you, can you said you played that way, right? Yes. Yeah, you can I haven't played that way. It was show this? Mm. deadly. Yeah. No, but actually you can. We're not going to show it now, but you can deactivate all the HUD and like just play it uh, like with without, the any, vision. without any indications. Which is, you know, pretty difficult and hardcore to play it, but you can. No, it's actually cool. possible. Yeah, once you lose that like little targeting dot, throwing that spear is just throwing and praying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, no, I would not be good in any of that. <laughs> I need my HUD. <laughs> um, and I think, because kind of people asked if... Um, if they're going to have to read subtitles. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, uh, well, as you saw here, you've been hearing Wenja, and there's, there's no subtitles. In the open world, we, we uh, didn't include subtitles because that just becomes too busy. It's, it's too much to try and, try and watch and play at the same time. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, when you're getting missions, for sure, we, we, we do want you to understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the, the missions, uh, uh, when you're meeting new characters... Those moments we're are going to be subtitled, mm -hmm. and but what's interesting, what, what what we found is as we're playing, um, it's the, the language. There's a real logic to it. It really makes sense. And so as you're playing, we found that you're actually able to start recognizing some terms and picking up things. And so I think it's going to be cool. I think fans will be, uh, you know, they'll be able to understand a lot more of the language than uh, oh. maybe they might expect that they'll be able to. There's always a turtle. There's always or a tortoise, I guess. Leave <laughs> them alone, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> what have they done don't, to you? Don't hassle those. And there was a question in the chat from Dosaurus. Can the crocodile move? What's that? Yes. Uh, there was a question in the chat. Can the crocodile move? Oh, yeah. And oh, they thought it was just a it. stationary yeah, yeah, crocodile? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they must have come in late. They just missed uh, JJ almost getting... Uh, oh. oh, no. JJ, get out of there. Oh, get out of there, JJ. <laughs> Go in the water. You're going to die. You're going to die. No, it's good. Okay. So yeah, one, of the, one of the animal behaviors that uh, we kind of didn't know about 
when I was playing through the game was uh -oh. that, oh, Jesus. Oh, no. No, oh, 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 no, no you're going to die. <laughs> Bitefish sounds like a oh, no, real okay. kind of wenja. Just a cuddly little fish. Yeah. It's a bitefish. It was a. It's a good transition to another question that some fans had: uh, what what um, type of animals would be in this? And we saw. Yeah, so we've seen versions. a whole bunch. Uh, it was fun doing the uh, you know the, the prehistoric uh, period because <gasps> we were able to. Uh, no, you're dead. Uh, 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 we were that we saw before, but yes. played in a completely different way and played during the day. Yes. So, Julien, you're going to try to play it in a more, much more stealthy approach. Yeah, let's fire like, it, hopefully. Yeah. And yeah. you can take your time. Like, really, just take your time. Do it. Yeah. Try to like do it undetected. <laughs> <laughs> Remember like the bets that was done? Yeah, yeah. I think, in, yeah. in the outpost. So, yeah. that'll be a challenge. So, people in the chat were actually asking if we had flying pets. Yes. And if you could fly in the game. And I, I think, think technically we're doing it right now. So. Yeah, we yeah. are. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. And you worked on a little bit on the... On the owl, on the owl. yes, yeah. uh, I did the the concept for it, but it's still uh, very much inspired from real life. So what we did, we looked at different kinds of owls um, that we could inspire ourselves from, and since we always see it from like a back angle, we went with um, great horn owl, which oh, has yeah. like the little tufts uh, on the head, so it has a much more interesting silhouette because mm -hmm. that that'll be just how you see it from the back. Um, so yeah, that 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 was uh, what we did for beautiful for the owl. And if you kind of noticed, <gasps> this isn't going well, bud. Um, <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs> it's fine. If you noticed, um, you call the owl in basically for recon. Yeah. So the owl was able to spot kind of all the different enemies. Oh. And if you noticed when he went into that gray vision, that's hunter vision. Yes. So you can use your hunter vision with the owl mm -hmm. and you can claw at people's eyes. So there's that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can also drop bombs on them if you'd like with the yeah. bomb. But I, uh, I guess that wouldn't be very stealthy for this. Drop so. an owl bombs. Yeah. No. <laughs> it, goes, uh, it gives you a good layout of the outpost, and like you can decide whether or not you want to use that specific beast or try to attack from above or from the side or mm. at night or at day. It's really like uh, you, you have a wide variety of, uh, of ways to, uh, to attack an outpost. Yeah. And in this case, we're going to try to do a few if you take them. If you this pull this off, well. man. If you pull this off. <laughs> this is not we going We are well. really impressed. <laughs> you could even maybe try to uh, like free the, the bear, right? Oh, you're yeah. going to try to do Hold a, on, hold on. A takedown? Yes. yes. And you can, yeah. That was brutal. Okay, not detected. Good. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> I have to remind myself that we're actually on a live stream instead of me just watching this gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, this is fun. You know. Like, it feels like I'm emotionally invested in JJ here making it through stealth. Yes. We actually have to try <laughs> to not talk to him or he will be completely disturbed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. For uh, when he was doing it just assault, he's like, ah, I can yeah. talk to you. It's fine. Oh. Now it's like, no, 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 no. Yep, yep, yep. Gotta concentrate, gotta concentrate. Yeah, he can't obviously kill him. Whoa. He can't obviously kill him now because then the, you know, all the the other guards will see him. So... How many of the horns have you taken out? One. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Not a good angle. Because there are like three or four static ones and one sentry, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Two nice, centuries, nice. Actually. Two sentries. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, and you can see it because there's a little like logo on their on their heads, right? Oh, oh that's a good oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I guess there will be a change of tactics. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I guess it will be. You the problem are is, very lucky exactly. that the we didn't no. have the uh, mammoth blood challenge. Yes. Oh you would be dead by now. So yeah. let's uh Change uh, Plan B. <laughs> That's plan his B. name. Plan B is you call in a cave bear. That's his actual name. Of course. Oh, the cave bear's it's name plan is Plan B. B. He yeah. named he named his pet. Yeah, That's and you're beautiful. freeing the second bear. <sighs> okay, but the important thing is if you remain undetected, you can actually finish the outpost without anyone having known you went through it. Yeah, right? but that that's a very difficult. If you want more of a challenge, <laughs> it's. Uh, yeah. I mean, I almost want to give like. Julien, a proper shout out that I have seen him do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it can it's be feasible. done. He has done it. But it is possible. Yeah. And it makes sense. We're during the day as well. So, you know, it, it's, it's more difficult to stay undetected. That's true. Last time we were at night. Yeah. So there was less people on Ooh, patrol. Nice use of the bee bomb. <laughs> I always love the casual brush off of the bees. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
This That's always great. happens. Ooh. I can see JC from the corner of my eye. I'm not feeling too good right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, JC is behind the camera and looks like, no, no. He's judging. What's happening? He's judging. Because on the minimap, you can see all the enemies. Uh, so if you want, nice we can actually restart red. the uh, the outpost and try to do it again. You tell me. Can we? Yeah. You want to try? Uh, yeah, sure. I if mean, we can go back to the camera, I don't know. You tell us. Sure. Okay. I believe in you. Yeah. yeah okay. Someone in the chat minutes, said, though. "This is also how my stealth runs normally go." <laughs> yeah. This is how most of the time. This is they why go. we brought you in, bud. Yeah, because yeah. if I had been playing it second one, I would have been noticed. Yes. Well, I would have just been like, "Oh, there was a dude behind me. Cool, 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 cool." It's so difficult. You could see in the, see it in the outpost. There are so many guards. They are rotating. Uh, you like. You could see the the, 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 the tanky guy, the, the chieftain that uh, was killed, but yes. right behind him, you couldn't see him like arriving and like turning yeah. in that room where you were with him. So it's actually uh, pretty pretty delicate. difficult, yeah. Pretty <laughs> oh, JJ, the chat called you a noob. Oh, that's <laughs> worse. No, <laughs> no. Try. Is that worse than uh, JC staring at you, or? Oh, I don't know. It's a, it's a mix of everything right now. No, don't worry about it. You're going to be fine <laughs> you know, on the second try. Actually, I think they were out to hunt something like in the distance. Ah. So I, I think that's what threw me off there, but I don't have any excuse. You know? All okay. right. No, 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 no. It's, you know, it's an explanation. Lovely. Yeah. So Fantastic. do you think Julien's second try is going to work? I have faith in him. <laughs> yeah? he, can, he can do it. Yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. let's believe in him. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure he can do it. You know? <laughs> and you know, that's the perfect example to say this is alive. You know, it's not pre-recorded footage. Yeah. But we expected him to succeed. <laughs> but it's fine. We have, a, we have a, several tries. And you know, it's more gameplay for you guys. So you can, you can see how, how the game actually runs you know, on a pre-released uh, beta version. <laughs> I have unfortunately given you uh, an internet nickname of JJ New. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, oh no, you did. I hope it doesn't follow you for the rest of your days. No, no, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I'm, I'm definitely do calling a, you JJ AMA Noob, though. Draft that yeah, so we're, we're just Noob resetting uh, the outpost. We're not ready yet. Uh, we're going to tell you in a second. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's interesting to see that things do not go according to plan, and then you have to come up with a quick solution, which was in this case the two bears, the one that he freed and well, the one the that thing was, was the pet. He definitely could have finished that outpost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But he told us he could do it clean. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're making him do it again. Yep. Yeah. That's all there is all to right. it. All right. Take two. Take two. Let's try it again. Godspeed, JJ Good Noob. <laughs> Why do you <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That that was just me. <laughs> Okay, so again, yeah, to spot the enemies up. in the outpost, you're going to use the all. Really yeah, interesting. That's, that's really, I mean. Yeah. They need the owl. I mean, if you're going to yeah, do yeah, stealth, really you need the owl. Yeah. Like, you didn't use the owl in the assault because it doesn't matter. No. But you need to know where all of those horns yes. are. And it tags them on the, on the minimap, too. So, um, See, this is what I was talking about with Hunter Vision. Yes. So it kind of shows you where all the important bits are and... If you're actually hunting an animal, mm. it shows you the tracks of the animal and the blood splotches. Yes. Love that owl takedown. Mm -mm. So badass. This, this was one of the, uh, the horn... Uh, the horn guys? Horn that was, guy, okay. Uh, so. The sentry? So one yep. sentry is down. Yeah. Mm. One remains. Oh, and someone in the chat said you should be very proud of that owl. It looks great. Oh, hey. oh thank you. Congratulations nice on your owl. <laughs> <laughs> Good job on that. Okay. okay. Oh, so... Here. For those of you just tuning in, oh. JJ Noob Good is job. going to attempt to take <laughs> down this outpost full stealth, which will require him full to take out five alarms. <gasps> oh my. Oh okay. no. Oh, First gosh. one is down. Oh, good. That's oh, okay. did you destroy your, the wall <laughs> that you, there. you could great, hide great. behind? Great, great, so great, if great, you great. were to free the bear, it would alert them, or they would just you well, know, keep. I feel like it puts them in a state of uh, yeah, 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 yeah. panic and chaos. Yeah, he, yeah, can, yeah, he yeah. can't of fully control the situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but they will be more watchful. So I think now the the primary objective is really to try to get as many sentries and as many uh, horns. Uh, I was about to say offline. <laughs> <laughs> Chad believes <laughs> in you, JJ. As, yeah. Chad's giving you love. <laughs> they think you can do this. To avoid any In JJ we trust. <laughs> In JJ we trust. Can I, I get fan art now? So this one should be Relatively good to go. Okay. Oh. okay. okay. There's someone behind Oh, God. You. That was a dagger okay, to the, the base of their skull. Oh, good. 
good. I think you would be able to also yes. summon one of your leopards or something to help you take this nice. stealthy. Yeah, why no animal, JJ? Oh yeah, well, you can uh, call your jaguar. No, no, he he thinks he he's going to... I'm a bit too far okay. in right now, but yeah, that's a good point. And then he would have like used the same approach, very stealthy, would have, would have been a feline, so he yeah. would have been like less, like more difficult to spot. Oh, nice shot. Getting a lot this of love is, on the ambient is, uh, game sound. Yeah, that's pretty Which impressive. we can't hear. <laughs> we have I can make them silences like... on the other side. <laughs> Uh, okay. How many horns do you have left? Do you know? I think one, one you guy only have left. one only guy one left. left. Yeah. Oh, JJ Noob. Oh, we can't jinx it though. No, it's no, dangerous. don't jinx yeah, you're it. Right, you're right. It's, it's easy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. From go the other on. way around. Yeah, looking at it is pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> so three enemies left and one horn. I think you can maybe, do it. Maybe a bit more. Oh yeah, yeah, four enemies. Five. There's one in the distance, I think. So that's one of the sentries. You can see that you know, the logo at the top of the, his head. So if he detects you, the first thing he's going to do... Yeah. Oh, nice! There we go. Oh. Okay, okay. Take down from above. got to redeem myself. Roy in the chat forgives me for the time in Far Cry 4 when I left the bear in the cage. It took a year and they a new game. They remember that? Yes, it took a, a year and a new game, but I've finally been forgiven for leaving that bear. Good job. Thank you. Obviously, I love bears and didn't mean to leave it behind. Yeah, just to explain what happened, it was during a, a live stream. I um, just forgot to let a bear out of a cage. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's fine. We've moved on. <laughs> I've been forgiven. Okay. It's fine. It's going pretty mm. well. And I see that some enemies in the minimap don't appear red, but white. Uh, Those right. are like more civilians. Yep. I'm having a hard time, uh, yeah, yeah, those are uh, just simple villagers. Okay. He needs to concentrate. Are you trying to do a headshot? On wrecking yeah, havoc. stop talking to JJ Noob here. He's I'm killing sorry. it. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, lady. <laughs> so they won't attack, but they can still see me. They will raise the alarm. Yeah. But yeah, as uh, mentioned before, this is the same outpost that we um, went in first uh, before we attacked it at nighttime, and now it's daytime. And you'll see that the the, the enemies will have a different behavior based on the day-night cycle. So it's it's pretty interesting to uh, base off your your strategy off that. Mm -hmm. I do like this time; it's not all on fire. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Last time it was. It looked very different when it was fully aflame. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the enemies have different kind of like attitudes too. Oh man, we're seeing some some people in the chat saying kill the civilians. That's not nice. No, it's not. No. Oh Don't god. Do it. Oh no. <laughs> wow. That was beautiful. That was nice. Okay. JJ, you Good are job. no longer no, a noob. <laughs> Good job. Fantastic. Undetected. Okay. All right. Pretty pretty great job on the. Oh. Currently in front of the, the first outpost that we were showing yeah. at the beginning of the stream. So yeah, so this is in an Azila uh, camp, which is uh, more to the south of, uh, of Oros. Mm -hmm. And for those, if, if you just saw um, <laughs> JJ, <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs> he's actually uh, pretty advanced yes. kind of in the game. So he's got all those. You don't start with all those animals. You have to find them. Yes. And so you've got kind of uh, regular versions. And yeah. then you've got rare. Ver oh, Aww. so cute! Isn't it funny how you know you don't need to do that, but it's yeah. it's addictive. You just yes. want to pet your animal all the time. Oh, hello! There you are. What, now there's one cool thing about. Oh, uh, nice. Notice the cat there. Yeah. Have a look at the cat. When you when you crouch yourself, the cat does the same. It'll it'll start moving in. Uh, yeah, uh, very uh, close to the ground. More predatory -like, cat uh, mode. Way. Yeah, like our cats at home do when they are trying to catch. My, my mouse. cat at home is useless. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> I want every segment to have cat talk. Uh, I would love like to always be talk. talking about your cats. No, yeah. No. I kind of want to know more about your useless cat now. Like that's well, my cat. Those okay, are so strong I words. Got, I got a cat, and and I, uh, you know, I've had the cat since a kitten, and I've got two kids, and they love cats. Does this cat want to play with them? No. <laughs> of course not. Cat has one job: play with my children, and the cat does not want to play with my children. 
Oh no. Has it ever attacked it's, them? <laughs> no, no, it just okay. runs in fear all the time. Not just my kids, anybody, but it's really it's really annoying. Mm. So we just have a question from Sky <laughs> Valentine. Will Ari be getting stuck in trees in this game? The answer is yes. Oh, nice. The bigger the tree, the greater the chance that I'm going to get stuck in it. <laughs> And no one wants to talk about megaflora. Everyone's Ooh. so on this megafauna, like, oh, crazy giant animals. It's, it's mm -hmm. more fun to say. But look at say. these trees. They're massive. Yeah, yeah but megafauna is fun to say. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> the trees are big, though. I do like that. Yeah. Let's be over here. These big trees. Oh, century. What are they reacting to? I missed that. Uh, oh, it's your it's your cat, out. right? Did no, you know there was a something else? Is there? No, was a something bear. attacked. A bear attacked the camp. Saw a bear, yeah. Just randomly, or oh, did yes. you? Yes. <laughs> oh. This bear came out of nowhere. Bear out of nowhere. Hmm. Sorry, I really like RKO memes. <laughs> I'm gonna continue to. Oh no! You just give it an order to attack the uh, yep. the sentry. Are we in dusk? I don't think it has been spotted. Is this either. dusk? Or is it dawn? I wasn't paying attention. Um, uh, night's, night's coming. Night's, night's coming. coming? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Night's coming, JJ. This is not a stealth one. No. So no. far, undetected. Well, is for, he? All, for all they yeah. know, they're, they're, they're just, uh, well, they're, they're, they're just in full It's true. Yeah. Uh-oh. So uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There it is. Yeah. But just before, it was uh -oh. like, yeah, normal, you know, Jaguar Yo, showing up in the world. fire takedown. I, you know what? i got to say, I do love that these, uh, you've got these camps that are set up with wheat everywhere. So they're so great to just set on fire and the whole place just goes, goes oh, up and looks fantastic. Nice. That was but adorable. That was the, the healing animation. Yeah, right? it's yeah, really cool. Cat's got to eat. Yep. Cat's got to eat. Let's play with kids. Oh. That was a beautiful really cat nice takedown. Take yeah. And now you can see how the night changes the, yeah. the lighting completely. Mm -hmm. Really nice. It gives them a haunting look, right? When you can see them with the, the fire at night. You know? Yeah. Well, I think that one of the things, because there's no kind of big radio tower that you can climb up and look at, yeah. you need to have visual cues in the distance to know where you are. Like earlier, when you were pointing at the glacier, yeah. you know that that's north. Yeah, exactly. If you continue yeah. that way. And people were asking, like, can you go up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's, the, there's the snowy north region you can You go see through. a bit of it. That's where actually the, the Udam yep. end up. Uh, uh, they're from the north. Yeah. So they're from the north from and the Uzila are more from the... More from the south. south yep. east. Which is a bit more of a swampy uh, area. Mm -hmm. No, oh, nice save. <laughs> Your beast. Cat save. Yeah. Oh, that's really impressive. And it's really nice to see, like, you know, the different kind of weapons that you can set on fire. Your beast, your melee weapons. Oh, but it's just, they just killed it. Someone in the chat is like, night is too light. I'm like, that's because everything There's is fire. on yeah. fire. <laughs> There's fire <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> And the Azila, that's the thing with the Azila. You'll see the Azila have a lot more fire than the Udam. Mm -hmm. the, the, that's, their, that's their weapon. That's their thing. Is, uh, they, they terrify people with fire. Oh, poison I think you bomb. got affected there, bud. <laughs> he wants so to heal his beast. Save my cat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just want to save it's my back. cat. It's back. Yeah, that's what's cool. When your cat gets uh, uh, injured, it doesn't die right away, but you've got an opportunity to get in there and try and revive the cat. Or whatever, whatever beast you've got with you. Yeah, someone was asking in the chat if your tamed animal can die, and yeah, it oh, can. Yeah. Of yeah. Course. But you can, as JC was explaining, uh, you can resurrect it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. With healing resurrection. <laughs> oh. oh. One of, oh my God. one of my favorite comments in the chat is, can you guys stop talking? Because we want to hear the game. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop talking. And I'm like, all right, if you guys just want us to sit here quietly, I mean, we can do yeah. that. Oh. That's your jam. Nice dodging. I think so it's, it's pretty empty now. now. We've got a bear in a cage. And <laughs> if I've learned anything, it's you better let that bear go. <laughs> else it will haunt you. Will. 1v1 combat. Those chieftains are uh, badass. Yeah. yeah, they're super strong. I like the double arrow bow. Ooh. Nice dodging. Good job, Sephora. Nice. <laughs> yes. Yay, beauty. My favorite like is the spear. Really? Yeah, that's yes. really impressive. Yeah. Oh, well, no, it's really me. good for... That's fine. For kind of close quarters melee. I, yeah, and I, actually, I agree with you there. When you're in yes. you close, it's really nice to... And we can go back to the main camp now. 
Nice. I do wow. like the really outpost cool. animation. Yes, it is. Good job. Get away. The you burnt created. out carnage oh, with the no. dead. So that's after you attack. Yeah. Okay. Obviously now uh, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> right? Obviously, Great. beautiful, beautiful. Oh wow. Let Amazing. the bear out of the cage. Oh, oh the bear's still oh, in yeah, the cage. Oh yeah, you forgot to free him. Oh wow, oh. I, I thought he got up. Like don't that. He will don't attack make the, you the same mistake do, I made. But again, he, he will have to fight it once it's. Well, out. what? What? Can't he just run away? Mm, I don't know. Can All you right, do it from afar? Can you jump fr like on top? Oh, you're gonna try to tame it. Good job. That's smart. Oh, oh. yes. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. Ooh, nice. Not happy. Good job. Oh, nice. Well done, JJ. I like that you don't always know if the taming is gonna work. <laughs> Sometimes it just. I, might yeah, not I thought work. I thought that was gonna be a. <laughs> Man, ride that bear. Hey, where'd that guy come? Oh, that's Wenja. Sorry, it's Wenja. I thought it was another Azila. They're mad now. Because of the bear? I don't know. Mm, uh, maybe there was another. I think, they were, I think they were going to attack the, uh, the bear. Get out of there, man. Get out of there. No, no, those guys are Wenja. They're not going to hurt you. You never know. They become very wary. <laughs> oh, no. Can you jump off a cliff with your bear? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Not well. Mm, do it. Just do it. Do it. Just do it. What's the worst no. thing that could happen? Oh. That's... All right. Oh, you... Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. oh, thanks, buddy. oh yeah. no. That didn't work. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. He saved your life. But I'm safe. And that's yes. The, that's what the bear wasn't He'll built for that level you. of... Uh... <laughs> Is that your shadow? Oh, no, that's your shadow. Isn't no, that great? No, oh, no. That's oh, the no. shadow of someone else. above. <laughs> oh, that little sad bear icon. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Yeah. That, that's on us. That's on us. Uh, it happens. Okay. Someone in the chat's like, you're not giving me copies of the game? It's not out yet. <laughs> 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 and as you can see, kind of at the top right-hand corner there, this is pre-release beta version. We're yes. not... We don't even have a final copy. Mm -mm. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it is. Like, I sometimes just get lost staring at this. Like you say, the trees are just spectacular. Yeah. Everything about Thank it. Thank you. It's beautiful. Yeah. We could just take a moment to talk about these trees. Yeah. Mega flora. <laughs> they're super, they're super <laughs> large too because they're so high. Someone has RIP bear <laughs> 1950 to 1951. <laughs> oh, and ba barely That's made really it. Cool. I like barely this. made it. Barely awesome. made it. You get only this stuff on Twitch chat. <laughs> you guys rock. <laughs> That's what beautiful. Is, what is that on your, on your, on your left? Left, left, left. What is that? This? Oh, it's a monkey. Yeah. Oh. Attacked by a panther. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Mm, Can you're you too busy to looking at the monkey. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yes. Nailed it. Head it. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks in part to Let's the beautiful teach. illustrators and concept artists like right. Naomi. Yeah, indeed, yeah. absolutely. So thank you. <laughs> moment of silence for the bear. The end on the Let's have a moment of silence for the bear and for the jaguar. So if you noticed in your um, animal wheel, <laughs> the two animals that were dead are dead. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see. Open that up again. Yeah. In but food. you can revive them from yes. well, Wait a minute. What is this? What's this nonsense? <laughs> What's this nonsense you're bringing what are you here? Doing? <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that's oh, a lesson. <laughs> yeah. Even your tamed badger is not your friend. <laughs> it's like your pet cat. <laughs> it's like my cat. It's, like your it's cat. exactly like they put my cat in the game. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah. I can't believe that you've got this little guy with you. <laughs> uh oh. Oh yeah, there you go. Who's that up there? Oh, oh, Izila. Get him. Oh no! They're already being got. Okay. God, I He's love the animation victory. on that badger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Look at that water. You think he can make it? Nice. Man, that's it's so cute. Game. What's no, <laughs> honey badger wreaking havoc. Oh, cares. 
Yeah, these animals want <laughs> nothing to do with the badger. That's so cute. And I can tell you, it is very, 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 very hard to tame. Mm -mm. So good on you, JJ. Yeah. Good You're back to elite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No yes. And that's the perfect transition. <laughs> Excel Dog's like, thanks, Yubi. Now I'm going to go into the woods and tame a bear. Now I know how. I guess we should have a disclaimer. Don't do that. Oh, but secretly, I want to be like, do it. <laughs> Get that bear. So yeah, I guess we should wrap up. Yeah. We're getting close to the end. Thank you so much for sticking with us, everyone. Um, we hope you liked what you saw. We yeah. showed you a bunch of stuff that no one's seen yet. Peggy 18. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm JC, I'm the creative director on Far Cry Primal and I'm here today with uh, Max. Hi, I'm creative director at Ubisoft Toronto. We're working in partnership with Ubisoft Montreal on Far Cry Primal and today we're showcasing a couple of the new features we've been building for the game. So what we saw at the beginning of the video uh, is actually early on in the game. Uh, Ul is the uh, Udam uh, war chief, and uh, with his, uh, his uh, tribe, they're attacking your village. And so now we're uh, trying to make our way to their homeland in order to uh, retaliate. Uh, and it's the occasion to start uh, exploring the majestic world of Oros. The Stone Age is a, a time when man was not at the top of the food chain, and uh, basically our hero Takar will have to make its way from the bottom to the uh, top of this food chain. Speaking of, here's a mammoth. I don't think we're ready to hunt the mammoth yet. <laughs> no, we're not ready yet. Uh, but there's a, a few ways we can uh, improve this situation. If you see, there's a dead goat on the ground, so that means there's a, a predator nearby. And in previous games, the predators were only danger. This time around, they're even more savage. But uh, since Takar is the beast master, he can also use it as an opportunity. So he's able to tame all the wild predators of, uh, of Oros. So we have a wolf in front of us, uh, let's try and tame it. And then, oh. All right, let's throw the bait on the ground. That's, the, that's gonna calm it. And then we're gonna tame it. There you go. So cool. So now we have a beast, we have a dire wolf. It's an amazing beast. And one of the ways we can use it uh, in the world of Oros is uh, through hunting. Hunting is a super important part of your experience uh, in Oros, and it's a good way of getting resources that you need for your uh, upgrade. And send your beast, it's super easy, you just point, send your beast over to it. No. <laughs> Not that time. That's open world, my friend. Yep, so everything is systemic, but we'll find another prey. Something big here, we find a yak. So Yak is a big prey, but uh, these wolves are dire wolves, so they're quite huge themselves. And, uh, so he starts chasing, uh, he's got it by the tail, by the throat, and it's a takedown. Good boy! Perfect, time for a reward maybe? There you go, you can feed your beast, it's also the way uh, of healing them. We just uh, keep the yak, it's the opportunity to get resources from it, which will enable us to upgrade. So let's see what we can upgrade. There's a lot of way of uh, hunting, uh, traps, uh, placing traps on the ground is also another way of hunting in uh, Primal. Because we just killed a yak now, the carcass might attract the predators in the area. So I think there's a doll that's coming, exactly. So we're just gonna set the trap on the ground and wait for the doll to come. So this is a great opportunity uh, to uh, get resources. There's a lot of way of hunting different animals in the game. And once you manage to uh, get the harder resources, you can upgrade uh, a lot of the aspects of the game. There's uh, weapons, uh, bags, etc. So tons of unlocks for you. Here we can take a look at the world map of Oros. The world is really big uh, and it's unfogged uh, through a fog of war. So you have to travel the world in order to unfog it. Uh, there's no more radio towers because of a Stone Age. Uh, but what you see here is a bonfire. Yeah, bonfires are used to fast travel everywhere to the world of Oros, and it's also a place where you can access your village stash. 
So let's go there and uh, claim it for ourselves. Oh, the wolf is growling. So uh, all the animals have abilities and uh, the wolf uh, will uh, growl in order to alert you of uh, nearby enemies. You can use one of the other tools of the Beastmaster in order to recon the environment around you. Takar can summon uh, the owl to be able to fly around, survey the area, get a good tactical view. So now we've marked three enemies. So there this one, the one with the orange horn, is able to uh, summon reinforcements. So it's probably a good idea to go in uh, more stealth. And so we'll summon uh, another one of the animals, uh, which is the jaguar, which is uh, very good for stealth approach. Yeah, exactly. What's fun with uh, the jaguar is that if you crouch, it's also going to go low. And it's going to be stealth, not make much noise, not attract uh, any enemies or, or predators. So let's take out this first guy, headshot. Nice So here you see, uh, as long as we crouch and the, the jaguar is crouching, it's completely undetectable, and so we can uh, approach very stealthily from the enemies. Oh, that was a good headshot. This is exactly what I love to do when I play the game. Send my beast on a first target and take out the second one right away, and then double take down. And so now uh, we can claim the bonfire with the fire roll. So this is really cool because it gives us a, a very important anchor point in the world where we can fast travel, it enables us to uh, conquer the world of Oros and have much more ease as we travel through it. But there's a lot of other ways we can have, uh, we can travel through the world of Oros. As the Beastmaster, you can uh, summon an owl, you can give order to a beast, but you can also uh, ride a wide array of animals uh, like the young mammoth. But you also have other beasts that you can uh, ride, and uh, it gives you uh, really uh, a lot of ease as you travel through the world, uh, and you're able to move much faster, but also use it as a weapon, which is a good opportunity. So you can see the green gas, which is one of the weapons of the Udam. And the rhino just decided to run away. So here we see uh, the glacier uh, of Oros in the back. We'll just uh, skip ahead to the uh, outpost uh, where we'll uh, find a lot more resistance and we'll summon a saber tooth. What a great feeling. I love doing that. So the saber tooth is uh, one of the deadliest predators in the, in the game world. And uh, once you have one at your side, uh, it gives you a lot of power. So we've arrived uh, to the outpost that we're uh, hoping to attack. And uh, the best way, uh, the best course of action, as usual, is to uh, summon our trusty owl and recon the area. Yeah, exactly. And when flying with the owl, uh, the different icons tell us the types of enemies that we're going to be facing. There's a lot of things we can do uh, with the owl. It's not only a recon tool. We can still give orders to our beast, so we could command it from here. But we can also uh, drop uh, different types of bombs. Let's do that. Let's. Uh, set this outpost on fire with some fire bombs. Here we go, and we can also use it to attack enemies, uh, dive down and, uh, directly to enemies. So this, of course, uh, is alerting them a lot, so now uh, they'll be looking for us, uh, but it's time to assault. Go spear, spear to the head, send the saber to it. Oh, jump attack, I love that one. That's super cool. And a take down, and then throw a shot to kill another dude. About the double bullet. There we go. Ah. Reinforcements. That's oh, not good. A... So now it's going to be much more uh, assault. So let's summon one of the uh, biggest tanks in the game, the Cave Bear, which is a uh, very resilient. You can take uh, a lot of punishment and give you the opportunity to uh, go around the enemies. Summon some bees. That's annoying. Which is another one of the cool toys of the Beastmaster. You can dispatch enemies with the bees. Oh, is there an enemy? Yeah, perfect. That from above. The bear's happy. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that was just a small taste of the amazing Stone Age open world full of surprises and danger that we've got waiting for you. Thank you very much, GC. Thank you, Max. See you soon.